Good morning, students. Welcome to our maths class. We were in the page number seventy-five, chapter exponents and exercise five B. Let us open this. Third question, seventh bit. We have to evaluate these or simplify these answers. Five a square b into two a b square into a cube b. A cube b. Then question is written once again. Then five two we have. So five into two I have written separately into a power two a a cube. All the terms of the a I have written in one place. Again, you know, the b again b square last b. All the terms b b terms are one place. All the terms related to the a are in one place. And numbers what are given those are in one place separately written uh, with uh, into symbols between them. Okay, no? now now five two is ten. Here a power two. A to the power one, nothing means one. A to the power of three, b to the power of one, b to the power of two, b to the power of one. Bases are equal, and uh, they are in the into symbols. In between them are into symbols, no? And their powers must be added. Okay? Then a to the power of two plus one plus three, two plus one plus three into B to the power of one plus two plus one, one plus two plus one. Am I correct? Already we have done this type of sums in the previous class. That means in the previous teaching part. Okay, with a formula called y to the power of m into y to the power n is equal to y to the power of m plus n. So all the powers are added. Then as it is, y to the power of Two plus one, three. Two plus one, three. Three plus three, six. So y to the power of six into one plus two, three. Three plus one, four. B to the power of four. Ten. Y to the power of six into b to the power of four. That remains the answer for the third question, seventh bit. Okay, students, is it clear for everybody? So based on the formula given. And the multiplications and the powers are added. Finally, we have got an answer: ten e to the power of six and b to the power of four. Okay. Now coming to the eighth bit, question three only. Eighth bit we were doing x to the power two a plus seven. This two a plus seven fully in the power only for x as base called x to the power. 2a plus 7 into x to the power 2a minus 8. 2a minus 8 fully in the power only or in the exponential place only. Okay, no. Now both sides bases are equal and into form is there, so the powers must be added with the same formula. That one we are going to write. That question only I have written here and x to the power. <coughs> First power is arranged in the bracket, plus symbol. Second power I have arranged in the bracket because both powers I have to add. Why? Because bases are equal and they are in the into form, so their powers must be added. X to the power 2a plus 7. <coughs> Again, plus symbol 2a minus 8. Okay. Brackets are arranged here. Their brackets were removed now. Now. X as base written again, 2a plus 2a, 2a plus 2a gives you 4a. That's why 4a. Afterwards, 7 minus 8, 7 minus 8 answer is minus 1. So x to the power 4a minus 1. Then 4a minus 1 full should be in the power only. X to the power 4a minus 1. That remains as answer for the. <clears throat> Eight to be two in the third question. Is it clear, no students? Same formula is used. Y to the power of m into y to the power of n is equal to y to the power of n plus n. Okay. I hope it is clear for you. We'll go for 
ninth, ninth bit in the third question only, ninth bit. See once, 3 to the power y into 3 to the power 2 into 3 to the power minus 4. Now, bases are equal. 3, 3, 3. All the bases are equal and into symbols. Your dot symbol is there, no? Dots are nothing but to into symbol only. Same question is written. And this formula, once again, we have to use here. A to the power of m into a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Now, 3 to the power of their powers must be added. That y only plus that 2 I have written plus symbol that minus 4 I have written within the bracket because minus symbol is there now. So bracket is arranged for that to not to get any confusion. Next that same base 3 is written again y plus 2 plus into minus minus and that 4 is written. It is clear now students. Then 3 to the 3 as a base as it is 3 to the power that y is written as it is same y only 2 minus 4 answer is 2 minus 4 answer minus 2 that remains the answer this we can read as 3 to the power of y minus 2 3 to the power y minus 2 that y minus 2 fully in the power only or in the index only 3 to the power of y minus 2 that remains the answer for our ninth bit. Okay? Then we will go for the 11th one. All these are very clear now students. Then we will see 11th one. With division symbol they have given 4x square y square divided by 9x cube y cube. All are given only with x and y terms but division symbol is given division symbol means by only we should write no like a fraction that first part is written as numerator by second part is written as denominator here 4 and 9 both are numbers so I have written 4 by 9 separately into x square by x cube bases are same x x bases are same here y e y e bases are same only then 2 and 3 we must use to subtract here 2 and 3 also I must use to subtract with a formula called a to the power of m by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m minus n that m minus n fully in the power only or in the exponent part or the index part ok now students Purely based on the formula, we are doing that, that 4 by 9 taken as it is, into symbol, x to the power, 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3, into y to the power, 2 minus 3, 2 minus 3, is it clear now? Next, that 4 by 9 as it is, into symbol, x to the power, 2 minus 3, answer is minus 1. Again into symbol y I have written as base 2 minus 3 answer is minus 1. Then this 4 by 9 taken as it is dropped into this minus 1 is there. That minus 1 will be changed as a plus 1 when we take to the denominator part. So this fully I have changed to the plus symbol. That is only 1 by x to the power 1. That minus 1 changed as plus 1. Then we have to bring the whole thing to the denominator. 1 by x power 1. Into symbol. Here y power minus 1 we have. This minus symbol also I want to change as plus symbol. Because in the question only they said simplify and express your answer with the positive symbols. That means with plus symbols. So then uh, y power minus 1 I changed as 1 by y to the power 1 uh, with plus symbol. With a formula already used in the previous teachings. That is a to the power minus n is equal to 1 by a to the power of n. The uh, minus symbol changed as plus symbol. It happens only when we take to the denominator. Same thing I have written. 
Now, 4 is a numerator, 1 is a numerator, 1 is a numerator. So, all the numerators are to be multiplied. 4 into 1 into 1. 4 1s are 4. Again, 4 1s are that 4 only written by 9 into x into y. 9 into x into y, 9xy. So, 4 by 9xy remains as answer for 11th bit in the third question. Is it clear, my students? Here, x power 1 means only x. 1 time x means x only. y power 1 means only 1 time y. That is only y is written. Final answer is 4 by 9xy. That remains as answer for you. I hope all these are clear for you. Up to 11th bit, we have finished in the third question. The meanwhile, here and there, few sums are left, which are of the same order. You plan up to do by yourself in the rough notebook or any of the revision book. I hope things are very clear for you. With other parts of teaching, we will meet in the next teaching class. So, take care of yourself. Write these informations, which are taught on the board in your classwork notebook. Okay, now students, thank you.